Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft and if you look down here in the bottom left corner you will see we are in Minecraft 1.11 and that means we are going to start a new single player world. Um, this is a thing I've decided a while ago to restart my single player world due to mistake that I have made in the previous uh, Minecraft worlds and the series wasn't taking the direction that I wanted to so I've decided to restart it when 1.11 comes and take uh, the direction that I wanted to take well I hope that makes sense but um, I've been trying to come up uh, with a name for this single player world um, my first thought was something like this like Bencho plays Minecraft restart, but that's too long. So I tried something like uh, something like this. Bencho plays Minecraft two, but mm, not really sure. Two like this, or maybe something like this. Or Bencho plays two. Yeah, let's go with something like this. And we are going to keep everything in default and we are going to take the first well that we are going to get so the only rule is that if it's a jungle biome that we spawn in then I will uh, create an, another world uh, I won't keep it, I don't want the spawn um, chunks to be in the jungle so let's try it, so here we go well this loading Frame rate drops 5 FPS. Oh, and here we go. Um, it's empty. Oh no, it's a jungle. Okay, well, let's try another one, I guess. Alright, so this is going to be our second attempt. Banjo plays. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> there we go, second world. Oh, let's take a look at the coordinates. Just want to know it's a savanna, and I know the coordinates where of where I spawn. Okay, so this is our new single player world. It's a savanna. That's pretty cool. It's pretty flat. It's okay for redstone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we need to find a place for a base. And also get rid of these two tall scraps that we don't like. Oh, why did they add this? There are some more over there. Oh, let's remove them. Okay, so yeah, need to find a place for our base. I don't want it to be at the spawn chunks exactly. I want it to be a little bit further away. So we do need to find a good place. And I've been trying to think about if I want it to be under the ground or above the ground I'm not sure right now I, I'm really not sure I know that doing it underground is kind of the easy way to do it but I'm not very good with building so I'm not sure if I want to try again to make it above the ground and make all the, of those houses with the roofs and Really, I'm not sure about that. So, oh, what is it over there? Is it a jungle? Do you see what I see? There was a swamp very close by. We came, we came ri right there, and I saw this blue flower, and I thought, oh, there's a swamp here. But look, there, there's a witch right there, and I, I don't have anything. Is there a witch hut? I think there's a witch hut right there. Look at this, there's the hut. There's a witch hut right there. 
right over there so the witch is somewhere around there and I won't get too close to that witch right now but I need to start with something I need to get some wood and really try to find a place for our home basic Minecraft stuff so yeah alright so it's time for our first achievement so here we go yay achievement and second achievement aha so getting wood so we already have two achievements yay not even five minutes in the episode so that's pretty good alright night time is coming so I need to find a place and I don't have any food yet so let's make a crafting bench or make some wood planks first and let's make a crafting bench and then we have our third achievement and I do need a couple of sticks so here we go let's do something like this there we go so let's take back our crafting bench quickly before the mobs start to spawn and maybe we should hide for the night oh wait don't need to hide the difficulty is normal let's put it too hard and I don't think this time I'm gonna lock the difficulty level unless you guys ask me to but for now it's not going to be locked it's going to stay um, as as it is right now just in case there's like you're doing I don't know like doing some redstone and a big project and then you heard a hissing sound behind you you might want to switch it to peaceful but that's kind of bit cheating so I don't really like doing this it's not the kind of thing that I'm going that I really want to do but I'm just not locking the world just in case in case I'm really tempted to do it and it's something really important or something oh oh we are getting oh okay so ah! wait there we go oh, oh, oh. oh that was a close one alright let's see some raw pork chops I guess so I think I'm going to be waiting here for the night so I guess I'll see you guys when the daytime comes woohoo alright no no don't explode I wanna have rest your gunpowder no 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 come on Oh man, these swords are very bad. Okay. So, spawn is on the other side of that hill. Um, and I'm still searching for some place to go. Where do I want my, my base to be? Hmm, I'm kind of hoping to see a village. That would be pretty cool if we have a village very close by. That's the ocean. Do we want to make our base near the ocean? Is that where we spawn? What? I, I wonder if that's where we spawn. No, that's... Hmm, I'm not really sure. Yeah, maybe we spawn somewhere over here. Yeah, so that is Savannah Beach Ocean. Don't see any ocean monuments. Let's take the sugar cane. I'm kind of hoping to see 
an extreme hill mm -hmm. or something where it would be pretty easy to dig our base into could be over there but I don't like the color of the grass I really like when it's when it's really green and here it looks pretty much like the swamp biome don't really like that color but we spawn in the savanna so we have to live with it so the color of the grass we are going to live with that but there was a forest the um, roofed forest I believe it was dark oak uh, over there. The grass was pretty green over there. It's pretty much normal. So we have reached the end of the savanna but good news I see something over there when I was turning the camera uh, like this I saw something over there and there's a village up there so we are going to take a look at that village and see like from here it seemed to be on a very small island pretty strange um, so I, I just want to see if we have interesting villagers and I want to get away uh, from there oh I don't okay there's the sun where is it going it's hard to say but I think it's going to set over there and I want to leave this place before zombies can spawn in so let's try to be quick and take a look at that little village. We are lucky. There's a temple over there. And that village is laid out very strange. We have a house here in a very small lake. That is very, very strange. We have another one there. Man, they probably... They surely have problems with humidity or something. I wouldn't want to live in those houses. Hello! Not a small house. Alright, so we don't have... Um, we have a lot of small houses, but not a lot of big houses. Come on, guy. Okay, we have our library right there. What do you sell? Huh. You are a cartographer. Cool. Alright, so we really need to keep you. Another house. There's a cleric. Hi. 40. You're, you're stealing me. Um, Alright, so there's not a lot else to see. Let's leave this place before it gets attacked, swarmed by zombies. Oh man, this temple is in the sand, really deep. Wow. But I don't want the zombie to spawn uh, in the village. I'm going to go away for now and I'm gonna come back very, very close by. Oh man, that's a cool place. Look at this. I think we found our spot for the for our base. Look at this. This is awesome. Really awesome. I think we found it. We found our spot. And this looks like amplified terrain or something. That's crazy. And that's so cool too. Okay, I'm starting to see mobs, so... Um, let's hide. In here, somewhere. So... Let's... Uh, I, yeah, do we have torches? Torch here. Cobblestone right there. We are safe. So we spend the night right here. I'm. I'll go back to the uh, to the temple very, very, very soon. As I'm exploring this cave, I'm trying to do something that is useful. So, like on my left side, I put a torch like this that is on the wall. So when I have these kind of torches on my right, this will be the way back. 
the ones that are standing up like this they just don't mean anything they are just there for lighting so like if I go this way I put this one on the side here like so uh, on the wall when I come back I need this to be on my right side and if I come up here and I'm wondering which way uh, is back up for example I will see this one will be on my left side so this is not working so I need to go over there where we see this one that is on the right side so I'm trying to keep this um, organized and this is the first iron that I found so that's a good thing and I think it's daytime right now so I will go back out uh, to the village right now so let's go back to the village and try not to die here um, the village should be man alright so uh, uh, yeah, yeah 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 here we go so the village is right there it's very close by I really like that really like the place so I've been traveling a lot but it's only one side so I'm gonna keep this in mind and maybe try to look around a little bit more and if I don't find anything that is going to be uh, better than this then we are going to come back here for sure but before we continue exploring I just want to take a look at that desert temple and see what we got ok I thought there was something after us is that an entrance? I think it is kind of an entrance so we need to be careful for the pressure plate um, we go down here yeah that's good let's remove the pressure plate let's light up the place um, let's make a few oh there's, there are the torches there we go we're gonna take the TNT right now I don't want to blow it up by accident Alright. So let's take a look at these chests. Golden apple, that's pretty good. Horse armor, that's also pretty good. Um, spider eyes strings I really want the string let's throw away the pressure plate what else do we have oh iron in ingot uh, not iron gold ingot what am I saying um, rotten flesh and bones iron throw away the granite take the iron take the sand um, emerald Man, this is not so bad. Um, so we are already in our third night, and I'm going back to spawn and see if we can find a better place than this. Uh, if we can, then I might uh, settle over there. But for now, this is pretty much the top place. So let's go back to spawn and see if we can find any better. But I doubt it. Alright, I'm ready for more exploration. I did a little bit of mining. Gather a little bit of food to continue looking for a place where we are going to stay. Now we are... I went back to spawn, which is uh, right there. And I'm going east. So we'll see if we find something as good as we saw previously and yeah so we keep on exploring today it's going to be a, a lot of that oh look at this already a village oh that's really cool we have a new village 
Alright, let's go take a look at this. There's a nitwit over there. Two of them. There's a blacksmith. You're a cartographer too. Perfect. Hello. Hmm. It's not very good. Come on. Could have done better. Oh, it's a pretty good size one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's the well. A well in water, which is obviously going to work, right? I mean, there's no question about that. Is this still east? Yes, it is. Okay, let's continue this way and see if we can find something else. Well, it's pretty cool to have a village this close uh, to spawn, so it's gonna be much easier if we want to make an um, iron farm or villager breeder. We have already a few villagers. Oh my god, there's so many bunnies here. That could be interesting to settle in inside the, a ravine. This place is not so bad. But I think I've been here before. And if I go to the edge here, to the end, I wonder if it's going to bring us to that cool looking place huh no I don't think this is not the same place no let's meet I think this will... wow I'm, I really am not sure about this place Maybe it's the same place but from a different angle? Oh, sorry, I reloaded the chunks. Um, no, we're not far enough. But man, from that angle, this place looks awesome. Is it better than the first spot? I'm not sure. Might be better. But the other one I really like the floating islands, but this one doesn't have that. But it goes pretty high, like this high over there. Oh, I fell. So I, I really don't know. Maybe I should wait for your feedback. Yeah, the village is over there. So I guess I didn't see this place because uh, the first time I went uh, west. <laughs> I was even more that way, so this place wasn't loaded. Oh, creepers. Oh, skeletons. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That is so unfair. It, it truly is. Is that a llama? Right over there, I think it's a llama. Is it? Yes, it's a llama, look at this. Found my first llama. I just want to see him a little bit closer. Wait. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hello. I know if I I punch him, he's gonna spit, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is funny. There was only one of them. I just noticed that again. I stopped talking. Like when I first did 
my first Minecraft episode, I would stop talking, and I do that again. And I don't know if it's because of the restarting of the world or something, and I don't have anything to say, but I feel like it's the first episode again. I really do. And I don't think it should. Because this is not my first Minecraft episode, it's actually like the 37th of the single player series. And I did other uh, Minecraft maps and stuff, so yeah, this is kind of weird for me. It's kind of a, of a weird day. It's, it's pretty strange. So this should be done. Yep. So we can put our iron. So we do have 30 iron in there, another 50 in there, a, f a little bit of gold, uh, not a lot. Didn't find any diamond, um, but I don't want to gather too much stuff too, uh, simply because I don't want to move too many stuff. So I would go back to the first place we saw and. Right, it's like this is which one? This is going increase. We need to go diagonal this way, right? Yeah. Oh, I did it again. Oh. Well, I guess it was going to happen anyway. Um, so it it's that way, and I will see you guys over there. Oh, this is not going to be a fun night. Oh. No, 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 no. Let's continue. Let's not talk to them. Why do I have hunger? Oh, it's because of the husk, right? Yeah, this place looks cool. It's lighting glitch. There we go. Alright, it's daytime and the monsters are burning. It's a great day today to take a look at this place. So, what do we have here? We do have a waterfall that we should keep. It's like going in the middle of the arch. Oh, where are you? There you are. Oh, the ar arrows do get thrown down. Okay, so this is confirmed. Arrows slows down in water, even if skeleton shoots them. But then why didn't it work when I went deep underwater? So we have like a very small forest in the middle of the hills. I'm thinking maybe about some kind of a garden here. That oh man, the mouse moves very strange. Uh, just like in the prismatic map, it's doing it again. Oh, don't kill me. So I'm thinking maybe a garden here. That could be cool, or some kind of farm. Is that a way down? Yes it is, that's perfect. Just have to find a way to go to that cave. Obviously we need to do something up there. And we need a creative way to go up. Oh cool, there's an ocean behind it. Oh that's perfect. There's a hole on that side too. Yeah. Oh, that could have been the death of me. Okay. What is... Do we see any dungeons by any chance? I don't see any dungeons. It's kind of hoping for a dungeon to appear. 
I've never I've never been into one in in a single player without any like um, flying flying and trying to find the stuff or uh, like the uh, maps thing where you can see where stuff are <laughs> I don't know how to say it but yeah um, this is a pretty cool place uh, I don't remember if I've really taken a good look to the village I think I saw a cartographer in there so yeah so pretty sure we, we are going to use this hill so this is our base the whole the whole mountain is going to be our base with that floating island bit so it goes very big it's a very big project but if I really keep this single player world for a long time then I guess we are going to go that far away I'm pretty sure it's something that is possible to do um, but I really need like to keep this world for a long time in order to go that far it's a very big project but it's a beautiful place um, and yeah we really need to do something about these islands these floating bits uh, I need to find something maybe like some kind of a game with the elytra or something that could be that could be a good idea uh, but uh, let's finish up the episode uh, with a final look to the village over there and I really really hope you have enjoyed this episode for today uh, I know it's a pretty like um, it's not very interesting to see someone starting over um, it's not the most uh, interesting part huh? of the game too because you start with nothing and it's basically only getting resource, finding a spot to settle in uh, which is pretty much what I've done there and it's not the best episode I know but we have to start somewhere and this is it, this is here and I still hope you have enjoyed it and hope to see you guys in future episode So the only thing left for me to say is à la prochaine. Bye bye.